So today what we're gonna do is, is that we're gonna take a sugar scoop and we're gonna modify it. We're gonna customize it to my man's likings, to his needs. Uh, the first thing we like to do is get it sized properly. When it's straight out of the box, it looks like this. It don't come with a flip and it's pretty long. So when you put it on, it hits you in the neck. First thing we're gonna do, take the guts out. You ain't gonna need that. So second thing we do, we're gonna remove our headgear, retain all our nuts and bolts leave you with an empty shell. So first thing I'm gonna do is lean your head down. So it hits you in the neck. Yeah, right here. All right. So I like to start with an inch because when you weld, you're gonna get in all all different positions, looking up, looking down. I don't like to cut too much off the bottom because then you get uh, burns, stuff like that. So what I do is I'll take my tape measure, make sure I'm cutting the bottom. I'll mark it an inch. Did a little trick I learned. Get you some electrical tape. Go to the mark, go to the same point of the hood. And what that usually does is, it gives you a good straight index of cut line. Safety first, get you a good pair of gloves. Make sure you uh, protect your face. And this is the reason why we're doing this is because fiber metal doesn't come with a flip. And see, this is takes this takes two tools and makes it into one. You got a welding hood and I got a grinding shield. I'm gonna follow my tape. And we're gonna make it And to get it perfect, we're just gonna go to that tape. I'm just gonna take my grinder and I'm just gonna run through there, knocking it all down to my tape, nice and perfect. So now we got an inch off the bottom. So now when he looks to the hood, he can bend his head down. So basically it won't hit him in the neck. There'll be no restriction there. If he needs a little extra, we'll cut a little extra off of it. We're gonna mod this part. We're gonna take, put the flip. The flip I'm using today is a cell storm. We made a series of cuts. We cut the box, cut around it. So now all you gotta do is pop them off. We left with a nice little hole. We can't forget about where the original equipment was, the mountain points there. I gotta knock them down as well. And then uh, we'll start laying out where the box goes. Make sure there's no gaps. It's sitting flat. You gotta take a little piece at a time. If you overcut it, then uh, it won't fit. And then we, we gotta start all over. That's the worst case scenario. Now we're gonna lay out our cell storm. It's a two piece design. It screws together. This piece here is three piece. This was hold the, uh, the back lens in, clear lens. And you have this piece, which basically it's like a gasket. So you lay it out, this goes in here, then that goes on top and it seals everything. Keeps a, you know, the arc from getting to your eyes. How I do it, I take it, turn it upside down, slide it all the way to the top. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out the locations of this hole which is very, this is where a lot of people can go wrong. If you overcut it, then it won't fit. Therefore, we gotta start all over. All our time, money, and stuff would be wasted. So I'll mark center, and then we're gonna mark around that hole. And that's gonna give me a pretty good location of where that's at. When we go to cut it, here's our notches. Now we got a perfect fit. Now this goes on here. Just like that. So now when you tighten it down, you don't want to tighten one side down. You just want to make it equal. Tighten a little bit, get it snug, tighten the other side. And you'll feel that thing pull in. So there you have it. Now you got you a nice flip. Got you the inside. Now, the lens we're going for today, Viking series, two by four, variable shade. Nice choice, nice choice. It's what I run personally. 
I like it because it don't flash me when I try to back feed, you know. But uh, what we're gonna do is pull the pull the tag. I guess you like 10, right? I'm gonna put this new, brand new, fresh clear lenses in there. First the back. That way you can grind. Now when you uh, put clear lens in there, make sure you run three front and back of that lens because if you don't, that grinding dust is so thin and so little, it gets in there, it'll ruin your lens. So then you want to stick your lens in. Just like that. Put your retainer clip in. Now we're gonna put the head care back together. Last but not least, your tape. You wanna easy peel that off. Now, the final touch is we get me some sandpaper. We're gonna smooth the edges. But, try that on, my man. Yeah. That work? Yeah. Cool.